Hi friends, it's Deanna here today, and today we're working on another sweet capsule. This time we're working on the Kids Cutie Mac pattern capsule, which includes the Sweetie Pie, the uh, Be Determined, um, the Kayla Top, and the Lizzie Ruffle Pants. I love all these patterns, and I love mixing and matching, and just the, all the ruffles that are in this pattern. It is the cutest. So I am super excited to be uh, working on this capsule today. I hope you are as well so let's get to it <laughs> So we're gonna start with the Sweetie Pie dress, which is a simple but super cute dress. And what I'm gonna do is, I've got all my pieces already here cut out, and I am doing a fall uh, wardrobe for my little niece. So um, you'll see all these fall fabrics, which I love. Um, I know a lot of you ask me where I get my fabrics from, so I'll let you know now ahead of time before I forget. I got all these fabrics that I'll be using today, I got from uh, knitfabric.com, um, super cute fall fabrics, and they do have a lot of really cute kid fabrics and panels um, so that's where I got this so anyway um, we are let me tell you too I am wearing the traveler uh, top um, I did it a little bit oversized because I love 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 the feel of it and um, this fabric came from Olga's closet fabric I know I get a lot of questions about what I'm wearing every time and I try to remember to tell you but I'm not the best I remember those sorts of things sometimes all right, let's get to the pattern. So I'm gonna first sew the shoulders together. So I put my front bodice and my back bodice right on top of each other, right sides together, and I'm gonna go ahead and sew these shoulders. Um, so I'm gonna put that to the side, and then we're gonna work on our patch. Now, um, you this is an optional uh, patch on your sleeve if you wanna have the little patch, an elbow patch. I think it's super cute, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. What I'm doing is I'm opening my sleeve and I'm gonna place it right on top of my pattern. Oh, well, first I need to prep my triangle. I should probably do that first, but I'm gonna show you. All right, I've got my triangle here. I'm just gonna steam it flat a little bit. The way I'm gonna prepare it is I'm going to fold in every edge a quarter inch. Now, after my uh, triangle has been all the way in every side. We're gonna grab our sleeve and now we're gonna go ahead and use our pattern piece and we're gonna match up right here where the pattern placement is. Okay, and that is where we're going to attach our uh, patch. So I can grab, I'm gonna grab my pins because it's easier to do with a pin than it is with a clip since it's in the middle of the outfit so what I like to do though is because sometimes it's kind of hard to go ahead and top stitch around I like to use some of these uh, some of this uh, steam a seam as you can see right there steam a seam and we're gonna I'm gonna I like to put it like right at the edge this is a quarter seam a quarter inch steam a seam tape I guess and so it says that if you iron it, it is um, permanent, it's a permanent hem or seam or whatever. But I like to go ahead and what I'll do is I'll iron it on and then I'll go ahead and after that I'll top stitch it all around. So it really does do a great job, like it helps me keep it stable because even with pins sometimes it's kind of hard to keep that uh, right stable as you're trying to sew it on so I want to make sure that it's not going to move on me or anything so I like to use this extra step when I'm doing something like this so I'm gonna go ahead and steam it and it is stuck on once it dries but I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna top stitch I didn't fold this one quite right I can tell so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one the same. Um, and then we'll go ahead and sew our shoulders, top stitch, which I'm gonna do with uh, my cover stitch, top stitch this. If you don't have a cover stitch, you can do it with, um, I guess you could probably do it with a straight stitch, just a longer straight stitch. Just be careful your stitches are not gonna pop, but I would, we would recommend a stretch stitch on your sewing machine, like a zigzag stitch or a double needle or something like that that's not gonna pop the stitches. So I'm gonna do it to the other sleeve. I'm gonna sew the shoulders, top stitch, and then we'll move on to the next step. All 
All right, my patches are done on my sleeves. I'm gonna grab my dress and I'm gonna open up that arm side. I already sewed that shoulder together. Um, so let me trim this right here. And I'm gonna grab my sleeve. I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna uh, find that top, right up top, that uh, half point. And I'm going to clip it to mark it. I just like to mark it with a clip, but if you don't like to do that, you can just pin it or, or clip it. As you can see right there, it's just, it's not, it's not uh, too wide. So once I do my seam allowance, it will get cut in my seam allowance. So it won't, it will be fine. So I'm gonna match up my half of my shoulder seam, my shoulder seam with the half of my sleeve. And I'm gonna go right sides together, matching those raw edges. I'm gonna go all the way down from one side. And then I'm gonna go all the way down to the other side and pin. And then when I sew, I'm going to be lightly stretching the sleeve to me to fit uh, the arm size. So we're just gonna be stretching, making sure those raw edges are touching as we're sewing. I'm gonna do the same for the other sleeve and we're gonna go sew. I I am using, for this whole thing, I'm using my serger, uh, but if you don't have a serger, that's okay. You can use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. Any kind of stretch stitch will work. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and grab our sides and we're going to sew our sides together. We're gonna match up that armpit seam, right sides together and match all the way down one side and then all the way down the side of the dress. All right, at the same time that I'm sewing on my sides, I'm gonna go ahead and sew my neckband. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my neckband wrong sides together to give it a memory crease. And then I'm going to grab those right sides together and sew that short edge right there to get it ready. And it'll be prepped to put on after we get sewing all that. All right, so this is looking super cute with those patches. Um, I am not going to be doing the pockets because I am doing the shorter version of the dress and I feel like with the pockets it might be a little much, though I think it still will look cute. I don't know, I'll think about it. But if you are going to do, um, and let me know below what you think I should do. Do you think I should go ahead and add the pockets? Anyway, if I am going to do the pockets, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my pockets right sides together and I'm going to sew all the way around, leaving a gap to turn your pocket around. So you turn your pocket around, steam it nice and even, uh, fold it down top stitch and then top stitch all the bottom uh, onto your dress. Don't top stitch the top onto the dress because that's where you stick your hands in. So it would look super cute. So I'm, I'm, I'm debating it. Let me know what you think below and and um, I can always do this later. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to our neckband. I'm gonna grab my neckband and fold it on that uh, memory crease we created earlier, um, right sides together. I'm going to go to the front, from the back to the front, and I'm gonna make a little mark. One second. Bloop. And then I'm gonna mark it by, I like to do a little clip. I already did because, you know, I did all this and I realized I never hit record. So um, I did it all by myself for no reason. So I'm doing it again to show you. So then I'm gonna grab my front and back together and I'm gonna do the sides. So you can see that I notched it. I look, we used my scissors and clipped it. And then to the other side as well. And it's right there. And then I'm gonna do that to my dress and I'm gonna put my shoulders together and go to the back and I already clipped that and then the front, I already clipped it as well. And then I'm gonna grab my front and my back and I'm gonna go to one side because my shoulders seams are not my uh, quarter. So you wanna make sure that you quarter your shoulder seams. If you don't, so you think about an inch off. If you don't, then you're gonna have, a, the your band is gonna be too sh uh, short in the front and too long in the back and it will not be even. So make sure you mark those. I'm gonna grab my neck band and I'm gonna match it right sides together. I'm gonna start with that back uh, quarter and use that back seam 
and put it right sides together, raw edges at the top, and then the next one, and then the front quarter seam, and then the side seam, and we're gonna go sew. Um, and then all we'll have to left to do is hemming, but I am going to wait and just hem it at the same time that I will hem our next pattern that we will sew up, and we'll be basically done with this dress. Let's go sew that neckline. All right, so when I'm sewing my neckband, I like to put my uh, neck, my band face up on my machine. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna twist my needles to go in, so that way when I pull, it, they don't pop off or whatever. I'm gonna grab that quarter, that first quarter, and I'm going to hold it, I'm gonna fix my neck band to line up the raw edges together with my dress and then I'm gonna go sew and then I'm gonna remove that pin that clip and then I go to the next quarter point and do the same thing all over again match it all up line it up nice and even and then I'm going to go all the way around continuing to do so Alrighty, our dress is done, all except for I need to tuck in my tail and hem, but I will do that at the end when we finish our other one as well. So I did the sweetie pie, now I'm going to make the be the turban, and I'm going to make it like tunic length, dress length, um, because I'm also making the Lizzie pants, which will be on our next video, and um, I think all of these will be super cute with the Lizzie pants under, just mix and match, or, you know, if it's too hot just I think they're long enough or I also was thinking if we do the Lizzie pants without the ruffle so it'll just be like shorties so that's also super super cute another option um, that we could do with that so I have this other cute little panel again it came from knitfabrics.com so the, that's where they all came from and um, we're gonna start by putting our shoulders together and I'm gonna sew my shoulders just like we did with our other one and don't forget to let me know what you think about my pocket option. Should I go ahead and attach that pocket or should I leave it? I'm gonna post a picture of her without the pocket um, uh, wearing the outfit and then we'll see what y'all say. And then if you think I should add the pocket, then I'll add the pocket. So we're gonna go ahead and sew those shoulders, but at the same time, once I show those shoulders, I'm gonna grab my ruffle that I'm gonna attach to my sleeve and we're going to gather our um, um, sleeve. I couldn't think of the name. It's a sleeve. We're going to gather our ruffle, sleeve ruffle, all the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this is gathered so that um, we are going to attach it to our sleeve. Um, what I like to do though before I gather is I like to go ahead and fold it in half and find my uh, half of my sleeve because that way when I go to attach it I know exactly where half of it is so I can distribute it between one side and then the other side so I'm going to go ahead and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my sewing machine and I am gonna use a long straight stitch on my sewing machine to gather uh, you can use your serger to gather you can use uh, all kinds of methods to gather and if you want to find out some methods to gather we do have we have blogs on our website but we also have a video on our channel about how to use different ways of gathering. So you can go check that out if you have some questions about that. So let's sew this uh, shoulders and gather and we'll come back to do our sleeves. Now that my shoulders are sewn and we went ahead and gathered that ruffle, I'm going to match up. Okay, so I know you all saw me and you were probably wondering. So if you already gathered, you're gonna pull that bobbin thread and that's how I'm gonna finish gathering. But what I like to do sometimes on my sewing machine, and I'm sure people are probably gonna say, I don't know if it's really hurtful for my sewing machine. I like to go ahead and hold, as my thread is being fed through the top, I, I hold it and give it a little bit of extra tension and it gathers it up for me. Um, I don't know if my machine has to work a little bit harder to feed it through, so I don't know if I'm doing something really bad and you're like, no, no, no. Um, but um, that is how it helps me gather and I feel like it gives me a better gather. Um, um, so I do that sometimes. Oh, don't be mad at me if it's not, I'm not supposed to do that. So, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna match up my right side. So I've got my spot right here where I marked my center of my ruffle. And then I'm gonna go all the way down so it's just evenly matched. And um, we can go over to our sewing machine and baste this ruffle onto 
my uh, shoulder so that um, when I go to add my sleeve, my ruffle doesn't move on me and end up like not getting cut. So we can go ahead and go with a straight stitch and then um, uh, ba uh, baste it on. So it would be like a long straight stitch. On this sewing machine, my longest straight stitch is a four, uh, some are a six, depending on what your sewing machine does. So we can go ahead and top stitch that down. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our sleeve Again, we're gonna find, I'm gonna find that half of my sleeve right here, and I'm gonna mark it. You know, I like to mark it with a little clippity clip. And then I'm going to match up, once that's basted, I'm going to match up my corner, right side, the right side of my sleeve to the right side of my bodice. I'm gonna match that corner, and I'm gonna go all the way down one side, and then all the way down the other side and sew it together. Um, and that will be on my serger. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sew this first, basted. I'm gonna really quickly put this right on top and then I'm gonna sew it all up with my serger. And I'm gonna do the same for both sleeves. Well, look at me, basting my actual top to my ruffle. At least it was basting and not sewing because, you know, I would have probably ripped a hole. So I'm just removing my basting stitches off of my top area where I cut it. And hopefully I won't cut my top with my scissors. These are very dull scissors, so that's why I'm risking it. If not, I would be doing a um, uh, uh, seam ripper, but I got them off. <sighs> Without any casualties, let's continue. All right, as y'all probably realize, I've had a change of outfit and my fabric is different. My hair is different, everything is different. You wanna know what happened? Life happened and it always happens. Sometimes when we're sewing, sometimes when we're filming, sometimes when we're doing other things and that's okay because I, since I lost part of my last video, I did finish uh, my little outfit, which I'll show you at the end. Um, this gave me a chance to go ahead and make another Be Determined dress because I thought it was super cute anyways. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish it um, just with different fabric. But I went ahead and sewed those uh, shoulders on with that ruffle sandwiched in between. Now we're gonna go, this one's gonna be adorable too. I can't wait. Now we're gonna go ahead and fold those sides together and we're gonna match up those raw edges, matching up the sleeve seams and everything. And since I'm doing the dress version, so this is gonna be another little dress, I am not going to be doing the uh, band at the bottom. So we are literally almost done. We just gotta sew the sides together. Then we're gonna put our band on, our neck band on and hem and we'll be done. This is a super sweet, and super quick sew. So I didn't mind having to make it again. I actually love making it again because I really do love this pattern. I like to put my ruffle, face my ruffle towards the, the uh, down towards the sleeve so that the wrong side of the ruffle doesn't show like if it goes up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm also, while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my neck band. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my neck band. I'm gonna fold it wrong sides together and steam it and actually i don't think my iron is hot right now but i'm gonna steam it and once it's steamed and you have that crease which makes it easier to fold we're gonna grab those right sides together on that short raw edge and sew that raw edge and my son wants to give you all a concert so that's what you're hearing in the background it's not copyrighted music it's my son playing <laughs> i hope you enjoy it let's go sew this All right, almost done. Now all we need to do is we need to go ahead and grab our neckband and put it on. I'm gonna fold it wrong sides together on that crease we already created. And we're gonna quarter it by going from the back where that, cre where that uh, first uh, seam is, where the uh, seam in the back. And then we're gonna go towards the front and we're gonna mark the front 
I mark it with a little bit of a notch, just like I did my gathers. Then I'm gonna match that. Okay, we'll put a pin on there too. We're gonna match that and the back one. I'm gonna go to the sides and those are our quarters. And then we're gonna do the same thing to our actual bodice neck. That way we know exactly where we're gonna put this uh, neck band on. Shoulder seams together, go to the back. Shoulder seams together, go to the front. Put the back and front together and go to the sides. I'm gonna match up those raw edges and the band right sides together with those uh, where the notches are, where I marked the quarters. And we're gonna go sew that on. And then last but not least is hemming our sleeves and our bottom of our dress, which will fold half an inch in and steam and then we'll, uh, we'll uh, hem it half an inch on the sleeve and a half an inch on our dress as well. So just go ahead and steam and hem. Now there's different ways of hemming and we have a video on our YouTube channel on how to hem. I'm gonna leave it raw for now because I like, I don't know, sometimes I leave my uh, fabrics raw because this, this is a knit. And this has got like a distressed look, so I was kind of thinking that I might leave it raw. Um, but if you need help with uh, hemming, go check out our other video. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew our neckband on and we'll be done. So I always like to start on the back where my seam is on my neckband. And I always have my neckband face up so I can see what I'm cutting. I get my needle in there on the neckband and then I go to my first quarter point and line it up, raw edges together, make sure those raw edges are touching, stretch it out so that it fits evenly and I'm gonna sew to that quarter point. When I get to that quarter point, I remove the clip and I go to the next quarter point, organize it, get it all ready and go again and then continue on all four quarter points. All right, you all, we are done with our pattern capsule. This one was super cute. I can't wait for you all to see the finished results. I'm gonna post them next. Um, and I also love this extra little one. Uh, you know, the great thing about capsules is that you can mix and match and throw in and use different patterns to create all kinds of different outfits. I think I might make another um, uh, pants to go with these, uh, some black ones, and then you can just mix and match completely everything all over again so I just love that if you haven't gotten this capsule go check it out um, you will love it as well I hope you have a great rest of your day please come and like share subscribe if you haven't so you never miss any of our videos um, I hope you have a great day sewing and all your things work out beautifully um, please come find us on Facebook and Instagram so you can see what everybody else is making and you can inspire us with your makes I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time Bye.